yeah able to see my screen now yes suman okay so we have seen uh, uh, a student table created with uh, five rows okay and we know uh, we can uh, fetch uh, all the columns data from our table using star or we can fetch uh, a specific set set of columns from our table by using the column names and yesterday we have also discussed to uh, filter data based on some criteria let's suppose to select data uh, only of uh, lkg students so lkg students lkg data is available in which column great great column so where is a keyword where using where you can mention your criteria saying column name contains lkg this way so out of five records the records which are having lkg value in the grade column only those two records getting filtered in the output okay this way we will be able to filter out data so why i am calling filter guys what is the meaning of a filter if you are having some quantity if you filter out uh, the filtered content will be the lesser one or uh, the bigger one than the other uh, source quantity guys lesser one lesser one only right because it will uh, having a lesser quantity when compared to the actual quantity that's why we are filtering out now what we are filtering here actually we are filtering the data available in the table what is the data available in the table five records data each record containing how many columns data guys it containing each record containing roll number data name data age data grade data fee data that means each record of your student table containing five columns data so here what we are trying to filter the data available in the student table so the student table containing five records of data out of those five records i am filtering data based on some criteria that's the meaning okay now remember guys everyone of us already uh, aware of how to use relationship operators what are relationship operator guys what are relationship operators greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to double equal to like this or not equal to these are relationship operators why i am calling relationship operators these operators works on two values so if i want to understand 3 or 5 which one is bigger so in between them which operator i can use and get my result if i want to know if i want to know whether 3 is bigger than 5 or not okay so which operator i can use i can use either less than or greater than if i use greater greater than so 3 is greater than 5 which value depicts the 3 is greater than 5 is true or false 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 is false is correct answer or incorrect answer correct answer correct answer correct answer as it is false we cannot say it is an incorrect answer okay 3 is greater than 5 so uh, the outcome of this particular expression the outcome of this particular expression is false why i am calling this one as expression because it involves how many values this operator Involving how many values? Two. Two. Well, what are those? Two values. Three, three and five. Five. three five. Three and five. This, this operator involving two values: one to left side, other on the right side. So this operator can be called as binary operator. By Bi binary binary operator deals with two values. Okay. So so a condition which is constructed using a binary operator and operands operands operator operands operator is the one which lies in between and operands are nothing but the values which are lying to the both sides of your operator okay now binary operator deal with how many operands guys binary operator deals with how many operands two two perfect two, two. good okay so now these less than greater than uh, less than equal to greater than or equal to are more specific to which kind of data text data or numeric data numeric numeric data, numeric data. because okay. we can evaluate this number is bigger this number is uh, smaller like that we can evaluate only if it is a numeric data in the text we cannot evaluate okay this is a, a big word this is small word that like we cannot evaluate maybe there can be some evaluation mechanism in terms of the number of characters available in each specific word that's a different case if i give you uh, two uh, words which are having equal length of characters like rat and cat and i ask you which one is bigger rat and cat what is the character count in each uh, <coughs> each of the word what is the character count 
you can evaluate in terms of alphabetical order you can say i will be unable to evaluate like cat is bigger or cat is bigger but i can say cat comes first as per as per the as per the alphabetical order, order. alphabetical order alphabetical order if i go with alphabetical order cat comes first because c and the starting letter of uh, your uh, second word is r so r comes after c that's why you can say cat comes first and rat comes later when you arrange them in alphabetical order okay remember that clear guys now these operators are meant for these operators are meant for dealing with these operators are meant for numeric data numeric data in the sense what is numeric data the column which is marked as a number or integer that's all now tell me how much i mean how many columns are uh, containing numeric data and how many columns are containing text data in our uh, student table page no roll, roll number, number roll, roll number, number age age yeah. fee roll number age fee are containing containing numeric, numeric data, data. Name, name and grade numeric containing data. text data okay text data. Oh, okay. okay so now if i ask you guys uh, i wanted to know so there is uh, some campaigning running uh, by the government saying uh, every school have to give me the uh, age groups uh, students age groups such a way that okay students who are having age group 4 i will run a vaccination campaign in your schools through some asha workers or anganwadi teachers so government announced a program and the school guys needs to uh, uh, what they need to do they go to this database the student database and they have to come with what data what is the criteria here government asked give me the students data whose age is 4 years what is the criteria here age age, age is equal to 4 okay so on which column containing age information age column what they are asking greater than age or less than or same equal to equal age age is 4 years equal. which operator works here equals or less than or greater than as per this criteria age is 4 equal perfect equals so this is a criteria i have to form and where you have to put this criteria at the end of your select statement simply go here put after where condition put your criteria and execute your query now we got the information within within 0 seconds i mean milliseconds okay four year students are two the count of student whose age is four is two okay clear guys so this way you can add conditions and numeric data and now i'll ask you i'll select only this piece and i'll ask you <coughs> guys i need to uh, so government announced one more program uh, we need uh, <coughs> pencil vaccination to be carried out for the people uh, whose age is greater than or equal to 6 i mean if the students which are having age 6 are above 6 are eligible for pencil pencil vaccination but no kid who is a, whose age is not 6 and below 6 are eligible here are not eligible now what is your criteria greater than or equal to 6 is equal is greater than or equal to 6 perfect greater than or equal to 6 so what it contains it compares so again it's a collective condition greater than or equal to is our operator age column is one operand and 6 is another operand here what happens it contains it is collective conditions like age is greater than 6 these are also going to come as part of your output and age equal to 6 these two conditions will be evaluated in the background because it's a collective operator greater than or equal to will evaluate age is greater than 6 those records will come age is equal to 6 those records also come it's a collective operator clear guys so in our case yes, uh, tell me the roll numbers of students 
uh, which are eligible for this condition? Three and four. Perfect. Three, three, three and four. Three. Because they're having four. a six and seven. Okay. This way we can apply uh, relationship operators on what kind of columns? Numeric data. Greater than or numeric data. Numeric column data. Okay. Clear, guys? Now, I'll ask you. Guys, uh, <clears throat> I'll ask you. Guys, uh, give me the uh, grade information. I mean, the classes information where we are charging fees more than 5,000. Get me? Grades information where fees more than 5,000. Come on, what is your condition? Where C greater than equal greater than five thousand. Select start from student where C hmm. greater than five thousand. Because fee information is a column. Uh, greater than or equal to or greater than five thousand. Greater than. Only greater than because greater than. read out my criteria. What I'm saying? P is more than or equal to five thousand or more than five thousand. What I'm asking? More than five thousand. More than five thousand. Five thousand. Now tell me how many records are eligible from our data? And what is, the, what is the name of the student? What is the grade? One and three. A, B, C, C, D. C, D. No. C, D. Only this record will come if I execute C, this. Only C, D, C, D will come. Because what I am asking? Greater than 5,000. So this record is greater than 5,000? No, it is equal to 5,000. Oh. It is not 5,000. Oh, sorry, not greater than 5,000. So it is, this record will not come. Because fee column, we are comparing greater than 5,000. So it evaluate first record condition will be 5,000 greater than 5,000 first record condition. True or false? False. That's why this false. record will not come. And second record fee, null, greater than 5,000. True or false? False. false. This record false. will not come. Third record. And third record fees is 8,000. 8,000. 8, greater than 5,000. True or false? True. 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 This record will come. The true record will come in output. Next, thousand. Five greater than five thousand. True or false? False. False. This one? False. False. Now the record, the condition, the record which satisfy this condition as true. Only such records will come as output. See here. This record, only third record. See, third record is satisfying this condition. And this record will be your output. And I am executing this query. See, how many records came in the output? One. Record. Hmm. Perfect. So now, so this way you can evaluate uh, your data based on relationship operator. And relationship operators are meant for dealing with numeric columns, numeric data columns. Now, I have taken only student uh, query this much. And now, out of this, I wanted to give you a compound condition. Compound condition, remember guys, a single condition is like this. Whenever it's a compound condition, a compound condition more than one condition. There could be multiple criteria given to face the, or to filter the data. Multiple criteria given to filter the data. So when anyone asks you, what is the purpose of where class or where condition, where class we used to call this. So what it will do? It will filter table data based on conditions so it is technical answer but whereas our uh, generic answer is where class is it to filter table data on criteria basis the criteria condition both are same the meaning is same okay clear guys guys hope my side yes, voice so is clear for everyone huh Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I'll give you a compound condition. So what I told you, compound condition. A compound condition is. Guess notes wise, you don't worry. The running notes earlier, I used to capture all the details in the form of uh, uh, Paint Google uh, sorry uh, MS Paint images, and I used to upload them earlier. Uh, but that was taking uh, longer time. Uh, uh, that was extending our session timing. That's why I'm avoiding that. But uh, we will try to provide you quality running notes as part of our website content. Okay, you can refer uh, website content. If you need any content regarding any session, you can refer uh, uh, the content which we publish in our website. Okay, so compound condition nothing but more than one condition. 
So based on this statement, if I say five, true or false, guys, this condition, I'm saying more than one condition. So I can say five conditions can be there. True or false, my statement. True. 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 Perfect. True. I can say two conditions are there. True or false. True. I, true. I, if I say one condition is there, true or false. 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 Because I'm clearly false. mentioning a compound condition contains more than one condition. Try to understand. You need to understand simple English, guys. To understand the SQL queries, okay, and the significance of that particular uh, keywords that they used in the query, okay, you need to and try to understand clearly with an open mind, without any uh, predetermined uh, things in your mind. Just try to read out any query with open mind, and you'll simply get the understanding how to convert that one into a technical query, a generic question into technical query. That's the important thing, guys. Everyone have to attain that quality. First, you need to understand the question clearly. After understanding question clearly, we will be able to convert that question into the technical SQL query. Remember that. Always remember this point in your mind. Okay. Try to understand. Try to uh, give more attention to that general discussion, general question people ask you, and try to put out uh, put that question on a paper or on any screen. Type that question, and piece by piece you convert that one into technically. Then only you'll start learning. Uh, the logical uh, knowledge, guys. The logical experience. Okay. See, technical experience is like remembering keywords. Okay. What is the spelling of select keyword? S E L E C T. This is the knowledge about keywords or the language syntax. But whenever I say logical knowledge, you need to acquire such a quality that such a quality that you have to convert your general discussion into the technical purpose, technical thing. I mean, your understanding skills, your logical skills will get improved if you try to put out any and try to convert into the technical SQL query. Okay. So it is meant for everyone, guys. Either you are an experienced person or an entry level guy, that is meant for everyone. Okay. Now, we're discussing compound condition, right? Compound condition is nothing but more than one condition. Now, my query, general query is um, guys, uh, get me the uh, names of the students, uh, names of the students. Who are studying in LKG and uh, age is uh, six years. Because I am asking this question because uh, six years guy studying in LKG is not good. Uh, let's promote him to first class. That's my intention as a school administrator. That's my intention. So I'll ask my technical guy, guy, uh, please get me the list of uh, students who are studying in LKG but who are having age more than five. I want to promote all of them to first class. Read. Select. No, no. Name? Don't tell me the technical answer. First, tell me the answer, like in the general thing. What are how many criteria I have mentioned here? Two. 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 One is age and another grade. Grade is LKG. And what is other criteria? Age. Age. Age is greater than five years. Five. Five. Five years. This is my criteria I have given. So on this criteria, what you want, what I'm asking? Name of the student. I'm asking, give me, get me the name of the students, name and roll number. I want to promote them to first class. Students with the grade for studying are in LKG grade. And is greater than five years. See, guys, question is clear, everyone. You'll be able to convert it quickly to a technical one, but this is a general question. Now you have to understand what they are asking: name and roll number. Okay, these are select. Okay, these columns I have to select. And uh, what is the criteria? Okay, who are in LKG class? And uh, age is greater than five. Okay, first you construct your condition criteria. LKG, LKG available in grade column. Okay, I'll go to grade column and I'll say it is LKG. And as I am mentioning two criteria here, it's a compound condition. I'm saying and 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 where is the age related information available in our table in which column? Yes, age. Age, age column. So age, 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 age and what is the criteria I have mentioned on is greater than five. Greater than five. five yes. Greater than five. Okay. Greater than or equal to or greater than five. Simply greater, greater than, than five. Greater than, greater than five. My criteria got built here. Now I have to simply select what columns I have to select. Name, name, and, roll 
name and role, role number role. from student where i have to mention where yeah. this one so i'll select role number and uh, student from student table where criteria is lk sorry grade is like lkg and the gauge is five how many students will come evaluate our uh, condition on the data how many only rows will one. come one. which one only one role number three so with the first condition how many records are there i'll execute only the first condition with the first condition we are having only two records uh, for uh, our understanding <laughs> purpose i'll put star i have selected this query i have executed uh, sorry i'll execute with the first condition only so with the lkg i'm having how many records two records a b c d and c d and when i <clears throat> bring my age criteria into picture along with grade inside lkg age is greater than six, greater than 5 nothing but 6 this record will not come because age is 5 5 is 5 greater than 5 false 6 greater than 5 true only this record will come if i bring both the criteria together clear guys this is called compound condition suman i have some doubt here mm, tell me uh you have selected select a name and roll number yes and star from the student right and why can't you select the select star from student where greater than yes we can do that lkg we can do that we can do that allowed because okay. as per requirement as per whatever question i have asked so to answer that question initially i have put uh, name and roll number when i try to execute on only single condition basis it is going to give me uh, only name and uh, roll number where you could not understand okay if you uh, if i show you both age and lkg uh, grade column also you can understand okay lkg grade students are two in our data and out of them if i include age then i'll get uh, only one record this way you can understand that's why i have added star at the end okay. it is not specific i mean you, you can use as per uh, our need as per our need we can use okay clear guys this okay. is a compound condition where we involve more than one condition clear guys Oh uh, no. Clear. Yeah. No. So I'll uh, yeah. so I'll ask you. Yeah, tell me any query. I'll ask you. I need both LKG and nursery student data. Both LKG and nursery student data. How many columns I'm mentioning? What is the criteria? Need. Get me both LKG and nursery students data. so lkg and nursery available in which column grade column grade column okay grade column column okay so at any point of time i can compare only one value so can i say and grade equal to nursery is that fine yes sir no it will give no records what does it mean okay. what does it mean i am having five records data and i am asking my database engine give me records where each record having grade equal to lkg and grade equal to nursery so this record is having grade equal to nursery but not grade equal to lkg that's why your run condition failing see for this condition tell me true or false first record first record grade equal to lkg and grade equal to nursery true or false 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 because Only nursery is oh, there. Nice. LKG is not there. That's why false. Now second record. False. False. Third record false. false. Fourth record false. Guys, following me this scenario. False. Yes, That's why no record yeah. is coming because whatever condition, single condition or multiple condition that you give, it will be evaluated against each row. Whatever condition you give. that I, that will be evaluated against each row of your table then it will give you the if that condition gets satisfied then only this record will be there in the output as per this thing your condition will fail okay what i am saying both lkg and nursery i have mentioned and fine but you cannot use that and directly as per my uh, general question if i say r what is, how it will look like either nursery or lkg i need both the both data getting my point yes sir right. if i say so how it will evaluate this way see here this is my condition earlier earlier record one what is grade equal to lkg for record one true or false 
false anna nursery first record having grade as nursery that's why this condition is false and then second condition true or false grade equal to nursery first query sorry first record this particular compound condition values i am evaluating guys true or false true or not true and second record tell me guys grade equal to lkg second record true true and grade equal to nursery tell me and the second record false false and third record tell me guys true or not true and it's false fourth record <coughs> false false and fifth record and it false and it false and true false mm -hmm. false and true see here the first condition is grade equal to lkg so only the rows which are having lkg those will have true here for the first condition and the columns which are having nursery the records first record and last record will have true value for this condition now what is and condition guys for and to be true for false and true what is the final result false false and true guys we know right this logical false, thing. false. next false true and false 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 false, false. false. true and false 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 no false and false false false, false. no false. false and true false false oh, okay now let's put r here all for all are false for and that's why no record came getting my point yes, okay now true see false that are true. true no false are true true true, true or true. false true 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 false true. and false false true false false here false are false right true false yes false. and false are true true so only the record 4 is not eligible in the output because it is false now i try to execute now see what are the roll numbers the roll numbers 1 2 3 5 which are true five. only those came in the output 1 2 3 5 clear guys how a condition will be evaluated on each record data clear everyone yes sir Yes, a compound yeah. condition will be evaluated a singular compound condition will be evaluated against each row of your table and if all the conditions are true based on the and or or that used based on that it will arrive with a compound condition result this way individual condition values for i mean coupled with or or and that you use in your query finally arrived with compound condition result if any compound condition result evaluated to true only such records will be there in your output guys everyone clear yes. okay yes, so i'm again select star from student i'm saying now i'm asking you guys give me the data of uh, uh, give me the data of nursery and uh, first class students so uh, what is the change in the query nursery and first class hmm. just we have to replace replace the first class and nursery instead of lkg first class yeah i need either first class students or grade or nursery students any of them always remember it's a blind uh, understanding that you need to have if we are evaluating or filtering data and a criteria defined with multiple values of the same column how are we filtering the data what is our criteria multiple values on different different columns or on same column same column same column multiple criteria ah, multiple values criteria on the same column such times you have to use or always remember different values evaluated on the same column you need to use which one or or operator because let's suppose if i say you uh 10 am i'll be there in office and 5 pm i'll be there at home so if i say i have given this statement 10 am i'll be at office 5 pm i'll be at home 10 am office 5 pm home so if i say 10 am at home will is that my statement true or false if i say 10 am i will be at office and at home 
is the statement true or false guys false false what does it mean here false. timing this is my timing timing is my column name time is my column name i'm having 10 am and 5 pm as time at the same time i will not be there at uh, two locations right the same way a record contain a column in a record a column grade in a record one contains only one value at a time either nursery or lkg or first class true or not it cannot contain all the values true or not guys true uh, so that's why if you try to evaluate your data based on different different values on the same column that time you have to use or so r will simply go and check okay if it is there nursery pick up first class pick up nursery pick up and rest of them you ignore either first class or nursery this way you have to evaluate okay and if, when we have multiple values evaluation on the base on the base of same column then if it is a text column we are having a future called in in you can mention value 1 value 2 value 3 like this here so instead of multiple or conditions and multiple column name repetition and value repetitions we can simply say my grade contains any of the value from this list i can define this way in operator you uh, when we have a uh, same uh, different values to be evaluated on the same column what's happening yeah different values to be evaluated on the same column that time instead of repeating see let's suppose if i ask if my table uh, containing grade column uh, with the 10 classes first class second class third class fourth class fifth class like the 10 classes if i ask you guys give me um students information where grade equal to first class second class third class fourth class fifth class so, so how many times you have to repeat this condition grade equal to first class or grade equal to second class or grade equal to third class like that how many times you have to repeat Multi so many so many times that uh the, many times. depending on the values that they, they have asked for right if they have asked for five values five times you have to repeat this condition instead sql given us a future uh called in operator with which we can evaluate uh different values for a single column so instead of this i can simply use this way in if, let's evaluate whether my uh grade contains either first class or nursery give me that data see guys whether it is serving same purpose it is giving data of students who is first class or nursery first class or nursery remember remember in operator deals with the data given inside in operator in on the basis of or condition on the basis of which condition or grade yes. if it is first class give that record or grade is nursery give that record or grade is nursery give that record that way you can provide multiple values separated by comma this way if it is a uh, uh, <clears throat> gray uh, if sorry if it is a text then you have to provide that value in the single quotes separated by comma and i'll ask you uh, one more criteria i'll ask you Guys, give me the uh, student's information. Uh, whose age is uh, uh, four, five, seven? In place what? of grade, you have to mention. No. In place of age. Yes. Uh, grade. In. Four, four five, seven. Uh, age in. In. Age four, in. comma, five, comma. Four, comma. Yeah, four, five, five, comma, five, six. Seven. 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 Four, five, seven. So, if you execute. It will simply give you students' information whose age is 4 or 5 or 7. Clear? How many uh, four, a, 4 I mean uh, four year ages uh, records written here? 2. 2 and 2. two. And rest are 5 and 7 as per the data available in our table. Clear? If we have, if we do not have in operator, how this condition will be? Where? Age equal to age. 4. R R age equal to five age R equal to R oh, sorry seven age equal to seven clear guys so this way what happens yeah. your length of query will increase and the clarity will become like you will get lesser clarity if code size is bigger then you will get lesser clarity okay so instead of that you can simply say this way so it is very compact the compact notation of this bigger condition is this where age in this way clear guys 
if it is a numeric data you can have you can a compact uh, notation of your age condition this way if it is a text then you can have this way clear guys everyone clear yes sir. this yes, way sir. you can use in operator okay. always remember in operator try to get the records on the basis of our condition for each of the value given inside this brackets of in operator clear whether age is 4 or age is 5 or age is 7 <clears throat> when someone asks you <clears throat> when to use in operator when to use in operator when someone asks you when to use in operator you have to tell when i wanted to when we need to evaluate different different values of a same column different values of same column then we can use in operator that is your answer tell me guys repeat when we need in operator we have to evaluate the same same column Hello. when we need to evaluate or filter data on the basis of different different values of same column same column see same here column. first class and nursery are part of same column not of different different columns right you cannot say first class and fees as 3000 it is irrelevant true or not fees is available in fee column so a grade column there will not be any 3000 value available in grade column so you'll get only first class student data it is not an error it will try to check for the 3000 value in which column grade column no 3000 record will found only first class uh, records will be found and you will get only that first class record as output clear guys <clears throat> clear yes so okay perfect guys. <clears throat> again with this uh, condition you can also see i am getting four records here with this criteria where different different values of age column i am trying to evaluate 457 age in 457 and here i can add compound condition also so if i ask you guys give me the students information whose age is four years or five years or seven years and studying in nursery so R. this is first condition okay. here and it comes okay who are studying in nursery so what does it mean? Students who are studying in nursery and whose age is in 4, 5 or 7. So in this output, first try to get this output, 4, 5, 7 age. Out of this 4 and 5 and 7 ages, which two records are having a nursery grade? First record one, and second three, record. One, this record, first record and fifth record. So if I include this condition also, you will get the student which are who are studying nursery and the ages matching four five seven so two records which are of nursery and age is four because the other records which are a nursery are not having this age four five seven that's why <clears throat> they are not part of your output clear guys clear yes. clear everyone clear so well. yeah perfect that's all guys so that's all for the day uh, we have covered in operator and also relationship operators. We'll uh, deal with, uh, uh, okay, one operator, uh, not operator, I'll discuss. Uh, so far, we have <clears throat> evaluated our data on what basis, guys? On match basis. Match basis. Match in the sense, we are trying to match the data. Inclusion. We're trying to match the data. So there is a there are two ways, guys, <clears throat> to filter data. On match basis or match nothing but inclusion or not matching. That is nothing but exclusion. Matching and not matching. Matching but nothing but inclusion. Once we once I expect uh, explain this concept, you will understand why I told I mean why I told you like uh, inclusion and exclusion. Matching and not matching. Matching in the sense inclusion, not matching in the sense exclusion. So here, look at this query. Why I'm ask? What I'm asking? Give me the ages. Uh, give me the students whose ages are four comma five comma seven. What I'm trying to tell here: match the age as four, five, seven, and give me the record. I'm matching. True or not, guys? I'm matching. What I'm trying here? I'm trying to match the age, and I'm asking the records. So only matched records are coming here. True or not? True or not? True. True. What does it mean? Whenever I mention this condition, matching records I'm expecting and including inclusion. I'm saying inclusion. The matched records will be included in your output. That's the meaning. Inclusion. 
match it records will be included in the output that's why i'm calling matching or inclusion same and non matching scenarios will look at select star from student five records are there i'll ask you <clears throat> i'll ask you guys give me the students information one second give me the students information whose age is not 6 years one and one and five ah so what now uh, whose age is not, not six years okay so see here where what i'm saying whose age is not equal to six years i'm executing this exclusion like here whatever value we have mentioned in the condition that particular record will be excluded from your output exclusion not matching scenario see 6 is there no apart from 6 all other ages are there so the value which is mentioned in the condition is getting included or excluded 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 exclusion excluded in the sense removing that not ignoring that value mm. removing yes. that value from the output getting my point exclusion so no, apart from excluded That's why I'm saying four, five, seven, four. Now see the guys. If I execute two queries, I'll get two outputs. Compare and tell me whether outputs are same or not. Hello, guys. Hello. Yes, Suman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it's audible. It's audible. And screen also shared, right? No, 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 okay. not able, not able, okay. Yeah, see, okay. See here, what I asked you, what is the output no, of no, uh, output of these two queries? It's same or different? Same. It is same because. All the students who are having four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, getting written with these two, no same. 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 See here, a query giving you four, five, seven, four uh, ages related records. One, two, four, five. Second record, which is age in four, five, seven, also giving you the one, two, four, five. Whereas age not equal to six, also giving you one, two, four, five records. Getting a point? Getting a point, guys? so the Excellent. same kind of Excellent. output the same kind of output can be achieved can be achieved through different combination of conditions remember that it doesn't mean uh, if i achieve one output using this condition that same output can be achieved through other condition also simply age is not equal to 6 exclusion scenario clear this is inclusion scenario where we are matching 4 5 7 ages and we are giving output where here not matching 6 and giving the output sorry yes here we are not matching age as 6 and giving other records 4567 4, 4 5, clear guys inclusion and exclusion clear this is not equal yeah. to operator and not equal to can also be used this way guys in sql this is not symbol this is equal to i'm saying not equal to age is not equal to 6 so this one less than greater than used one after other is not equal to see here 6 is not there in the output whereas we are having one record with the age 6 this one cda lkg clear guys <coughs> yes sir one oh, okay yeah. thank you guys that's all for the day we'll i'll see you in next session we'll try to learn update and delete statements and we'll conclude ddl dml and we'll move on to next uh, important concepts these are also important concepts the major concept like join related things okay guys thank you see you in next session we'll try to provide you assignments guys we'll try to uh, definitely try to attend and uh, get them back and i believe 
the assignment which you are going to give on this concept will be definitely like uh, some mind storming for you like whether what you have to use or or and how to achieve the output okay uh, understanding where to use and where to use or is important okay now final question if i use if i try to evaluate with different values of same column which operator is helpful in in perfect that's all in. fine guys thank you see you in next session bye, bye. thank you so much thank you, thank you.